Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to determine when a function is uh, increasing, decreasing, or constant. So when we want to determine when a function is increasing, decreasing, or constant, um, what we want to do is, what's helpful is to look at the graph. And what we're going to do is we're going to determine when is our graph increasing, decreasing. Now, it gets a little difficult when we need to determine you know, well, of course, sometimes we know when it's positive or negative, but what I'm really talking about is when is the output of our function increasing or decreasing. So we're going to be talking about a function. Now remember a function, you have f of x, which is your output, equal to x. And, you know, there can be some other expression where x is your input. So what I want to do is when determine when my graph is increasing or de decreasing, I want to determine when I have my input, when I plug my x values in, when is the graph going to, when is the output going to be increasing and when is the output going to be decreasing? So a couple things we need to remember. Remember when we're looking at a graph, a graph has an x-axis and a y-axis. Well, we're going to be talking about functions. Rather than using it and saying it's a y-axis, we're going to call it kind of like our f of x-axis because it's our output axis. Our input goes from left to right and our output is going to be, um, going to be vertical. So let's take a look at this graph. And you can see this graph goes up and down, up and down. But between certain intervals, we say the graph is only going up. For instance, between the interval of negative 2 and 1, or I'm sorry, negative 2 and negative 1, you can see that this graph, the output, the f of x, it's increasing, right? Because the value here is at 1, and the value at negative 1 is at 3. Therefore, the graph's output value has increased. It's also increased between 3 and 4. Now we look at, well, what about when is the graph decreased? Okay, well, let's look at between negative 1 and 1. At negative 1, the output value of this function is at 3. But then at 1, it is decreased down to 1. As you can see at 1 comma 1. So therefore, whenever your function, the output has gone from you know, a larger number to a lower number, we call it decreased. We can also say it looks at, you know, as it's going up, that's in, in, into infinity, it's increasing. And as a function is going down, we we'll say it's decreasing. So the most important thing is the looking at the direction of really what the graph, rather than, you know, where it's at. Because, um, you know, a lot of us say that, you know, it's not really depending on what quadrant it's in, but it's really what is the direction of the function going into. So let's take a look at this example, and all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to write in the intervals when the graph is increasing, decreasing, or constant. So what we can say is, you know, from left to right, of all the x intervals, so these x intervals so keeps on going all the way over here to infin negative infinity. As I'm going to the right, you can see this graph is going down, right? The values of the output, each one of these output values, is getting smaller and smaller. Therefore, the graph is decreasing. So on what interval is the graph decreasing? Well, this graph goes infinitely to the left. So therefore, my farthest point is from negative, uh, let's write it, decreasing. So the graph is decreasing from negative infinity, because that's my farthest point to the left is negative infinity, all the way down to it stops decreasing at negative 2. Then, at no other point is my graph getting smaller. Um, let's look at when the graph is getting larger, increasing, or the output values are increasing. So I look from, from here to here, as my x values, as I'm going to write my x values, you can see my graph is going up. It's going towards positive infinity. Therefore, it's increasing on the interval of 0 to 0, sorry, not to 2, to infinity. Now let's take a look at it and see, well, when would the graph not change? When is it going to be constant? So you can see well, from the interval of negative 2 to 0, the graph has not changed. It's not gone up, nor has not gone down. So we can say the graph is constant from negative 2 to 0. Now let's look at another graph. And again, what we want to look at when we're looking at the graph is find the direction of uh, the outputs of the value. So we know that our x values is where we're going to write our intervals. And we just want to see what is the output, what's happening with the output between our two intervals. So this graph goes infinitely to the left. So I'm going to say that our farthest point is negative infinity. 
Well, as negative infinity goes to this point, negative 4, my graph, you can see, is going downwards. So therefore, my graph is going to be decreasing from negative infinity to negative 4. You could also say that the graph is also decreasing from 0 to, net to uh, positive 4. Because at these output values, even though my x's, as my x's go to the right, as I move, talk about this function to the, to the right, the output of f of 0 is 3, but the output of f of 4 is now 0. So my graph has now declined. So it's also decreasing from 0 to 4. Now let's look at where the graph is increasing. Well, you can say the graph is now increasing from negative 4 to 0. And the graph is increasing from 4 to infinity. There is not a point where the graph is actually constant. Um, a lot of students will look at this and say, oh, it looks very close to being constant right at 0. But as soon, even though it's very slowly increasing, right at 0, it then starts decreasing. So there is no, um, there is no interval where exactly the, um, the graph is going to be constant. So what I'd like to do now is write up there two problems for you to go and try on your own, and then I'll come back and see if, I, see if we get the same uh, solutions. Okay, what I'd like you to do is please write down uh, these two graphs and then uh, go ahead and spend, give about five minutes to yourself, see if you can do them on your own, and then, um, and then what I'll do is I'll come back and see if we get the right answers. Okay, I'm back. Let's go ahead and do uh, a quick little up uh, reminder, see if we can remember how to find when the function is increasing or uh, decreasing or constant. Remember, when we're talking about increasing, decreasing, and constant, we're talking about the, the output value. Um, we're talking about when is it the value of our, on our f of x axis or our output axis increasing or decreasing. So we're going to write our answer in terms of our inputs. So I'm going to say from, you know, let's look at from this point to this point, is the graph going up or is it going down? Is it going heading towards infinity or heading down towards negative infinity? Well, here, you can obviously see it's heading towards infinity, so it's increasing. But the most farthest left value, this goes on to negative infinity. It keeps on going to the left, so it goes on to negative infinity. Well, so it's increasing from negative infinity all the way up to what is the farthest x value where it stops increasing? Well, that's at 0. So we can say this graph is increasing from negative infinity to 0. Then we could also say the graph starts to go upward at 2 to infinity. Again, it's at infinity because this graph is going to continue on and on. Then I look at where is the graph decreasing. Well, I can say here the graph is decreasing from my point 0 to how far over does it, does it keep on decreasing? Well, 1, 2. So it's decreasing from 0 to 2. Now let's look at the next one. Here, I could say my graph, as I'm going from left to right, the output value is increasing from negative infinity to 0. And it's also increasing 
from 2 to infinity. However, if we look at this, anytime I'm looking from left to right, there is absolutely no place where my graph is ever decreasing, where it's getting smaller. The output values are getting smaller than what they were before. However, I do notice that from 0 to 2, the graph has not changed. It's not gone up, it's not gone down, it's remained flat. Therefore, it has been constant from 0 to 2. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you determine when a graph is increasing, decreasing, or constant. I hope this uh, helped you out. Thanks for watching.